Hello again guys, I have a very interesting video for you today. This is the Duino Kit Junior. The Duino Kit Junior was the result of a Kickstarter project, and as of a few weeks ago, all the people that backed on Kickstarter should have officially received all of theirs. I was not one of the original Kickstarter backers, but I did manage to get Duino Kit to send one out to me to take a look at. So this, if you're not familiar with it, is, as it says, an Arduino-based electronics and programming kit. This is targeted at kids, it's educational, it's an awful lot like the, the MakeBot Robotics Kit that I talked about a little while back except it's not a robot. It is a whole series of missions, a whole series of things to do with your kid or to do as a kid. Here it mentions some of the types of projects you can do with it. You can see here some of the things you can do on the back, it mentions what it comes with. And really, this case is just amazing. That's one of the things I really liked about it when I saw it. Let's go ahead and open it up and just see what comes inside it, because I'm really curious. Alrighty, things are already starting to fall apart, but that's okay. So as you can see, very nicely designed little case. It does stay open on its own. I'm not having to hold anything or prop anything up. Here's our list of official missions. We'll go ahead and open that up and take a quick look at it. So inside of this, you can see Duino Kit Mission Specialist. Here's your assignment. Complete all these missions and submissions located on the card. Once you're done, start thinking creatively. So basically, this is just a way to get your kid or to get yourself even to start thinking creatively to start thinking about electronics and hardware and how you can use it and what you can do with it so here's a list of all of your available missions mission one blink and led and then it goes through all the steps you'll need and all the hardware you're going to need to use step one select an led connect the arduino nano board and the scrolling leds and going portable stuff sound devices clocks memory games lie detectors lots and lots of really cool stuff to do in here but of course i'm not going to go through that entire thing we also have in here a getting started with your duino kit junior a little bit of information about installing the arduino software on different os's how you'd run the software how you connect everything up and what you can do if you're a mac user i would assume that if you're a linux user it'll work just the same as any arduino would work on linux as well get this little bit of foam over here that appears to have come loose i'm sure with the a little bit of hot glue you could probably get it to stick again maybe with some crazy glue not sure what will or will not dissolve this foam over here there are a bunch of cables but instead of having things you have to solder in place these look like they just sort of plug into the board so that's definitely a great way to get kids introduced to it all right here is a usb cable yeah it's the mini usb cable and it doesn't look like it's terribly long and then in here we had a bunch of these little cables and basically you just sort of plug one into the board and then one into whatever you're trying to connect it to. Not bad at all. And I did mistakenly just learn a very valuable lesson. This hinge does come off. So if you do want to take the top off of it, if you don't like it staying open like that, you can take that off. All you have to do is just slide it like this and it comes right off. So that's also very convenient as long as you know that's something that it'll do. I see there's also a little card in here that says mission specialist. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to use the Duino kit and have fun learning. So you put your name on there. Definitely a cool little item to have for kids. And then of course, the last piece of the puzzle, as it were, the Duino Kit Junior board. You have a place in here for a nine volt battery. You have your CR2032 battery to help keep all of your settings in state. You have a mini USB port right there. This is probably the main component, the main Arduino board, the Arduino Nano, rotary encoder, digital temperature and humidity, potentiometer, your LCD display, all sorts of push button switches and LEDs. Over here, we've got our little distance module. This is the same kind of thing we saw on the MBOT. So all in all, just a very comprehensive little set of things to do. Oh, and there's infrared. I missed that entirely. Now I'm not gonna be taking this and doing anything with it today. Now, one thing I find interesting about all this is this board doesn't seem to come out. There are a couple of screws in it that appear to be holding it down. I may take those out and see what is underneath it. My curiosity has gotten the better of me. I have to see what's under the board because I don't really think this board, uh, it, it seems like there's an awful lot of room under it, but maybe there's a bunch of wires behind the scenes. That's all I could really figure. And I know I probably shouldn't be taking this apart, but there's four screws that appear to be holding it in place. And hopefully I can just put it back together if I do something wrong. I'm guessing I'm about to stumble onto a mess of wires or not. Wow, this is just literally a sort of a little box to hold it in place. So if you wanted to store secret things under there, you definitely could. But yeah, as you turn it over, you'll see there's nothing underneath the board. There's no wires or anything. It's just a nifty little carrying case where everything kind of fits in together nicely. I'm going to go ahead and put everything back together now before I mess it up. But if you did want to disassemble any of this, to use in other applications, you could definitely do that as well. But I think that's about as far as I'm gonna go with this little kit for today. Definitely a lot of amazing little things in this kit. Unfortunately, my little one is not quite to the point where he's ready to start doing these electronics projects with me, but I'm very happy to know that when he is ready for it, if he ever is ready for it, I do have the equipment now that I can get started and have a very easy way to get him introduced to it. If you're interested in picking one of these up for yourself, you can find them over on the Duino Kit website. They're about $129, $130, so it's a little bit expensive, but for that price, you do get this very nice 
nice carrying case. The boards, the missions, the wires, everything that's included in this. Unfortunately, this does not want to stay in there, but it is a very nice little kit to get started. And if you have a kid in your life, or if there's a kid in you somewhere, it definitely might be worth taking a look at. But that's going to be all for me for today. Thanks so much again to Duino Kit for sending this out. Remember to leave a thumbs up below this video if you like this video, subscribe to receive more videos when they become available, and I'll see you next time.